a lot of my work seems to speak to people on on um, on a mental health level. It's not accidental. Um, I had my own mental health crisis a number of years ago, and that seemed to open a door for me. It's it's kind of a place that I could go back to, uh, if that makes any sense. The process that I use involves what I call liminal sketching. This is a, this is just during the, the sketching phase, when I'm still working in my sketchbooks and I'm just conceptually uh, conceptualizing new ideas. Uh, I'll let my eyes look beyond the page, focus on some point of space on the other side of the paper, and uh, allow my hand to just sort of glide over the surface of the paper and create random shapes. And then, and then suddenly I'll look at the picture, uh, the drawing, and then my imagination to grasp onto these random objects. In that way, it almost becomes like a bit of a Rorschach test, you know, the ink blots. What am I seeing? Yeah, I guess it does have some similarity to like a shamanic ritual, like casting of bones or reading tea leaves or something like that. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I'd go with that. Now, all of this comes after, you know, a lifetime of taking an interest in psychology and mythology and folklore. You know, my imagination is drawing from all of these things. I mean, I, I tend to think all of those the great images that we see of, um, you know, the fall of the rebel angels or the temptation of St. Anthony, they do express something really powerful that's going on in the human psyche. Whether you believe in the religion or not, you can appreciate it at that level. But that approach to uh, my painting often, you know, it, it brings me to a place where I'm, I'm working on an image and sometimes I'll have no idea what the meaning of it is. And it's sometime during the painting process, after I've been looking at it for days or weeks, that it'll suddenly hit me what the meaning of the painting is. It's nothing I, I set out to say, here is the feeling that I'm going to express. It's, this is making me feel something, but why? It could be a very simple or primal feeling, or um, or it could be something far more complicated, layered and nuanced, like a Gordian knot. I think that approach does give me imagery that uh, that really connects with people on a subconscious level. I think a lot of my current work with the with the figures and faces that are sort of combined in in one creature. I think a lot of that is coming from my anxieties around social media. There's something strange going on in the social media sphere right now and I think everybody knows it. But nobody can really put their finger on it. I think it's affecting us all in in a manner that we haven't completely come to terms with. Every new age of the world has brought with it some new type of anxiety. And getting back to what I was talking about before with the, uh, the Epic of Gilgamesh, I mean, that's all about the anxiety of society changing, going from a tribal structure to, to an urban people. And suddenly the old rules didn't make sense anymore. Thematically, this, this reminds me of um, uh, what Joseph Campbell called the inner cave. During my breakdown, it's as though another space was created in my psyche somewhere that uh, never, never fully healed, and um, that I could go and peek into on occasion. It does feel like there's some risk to it sometimes. Like if I look too far or too long into that space, then I could um, perhaps re-traumatize myself. But if I'm just there for a moment, if I just if I just kind of look through the door and step away, then I can take something away from that, which other people are going to connect with. And that, I think, is at the core of where a lot of this imagery is coming from. It's looking into that dark place. And because of everything you know, I did before with the fantasy and the mythology 
and the studies ongoing. I, I feel like I had some sort of visual vocabulary to attach to that already. It's drawing from a lot of uh, mythological and religious concepts, but I'm putting it through the filter of my own experience. And I think those experiences are what resonate with other people.